Hi guys, this is Diego from LBN Studio. I hope you're having a great day so far. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to reduce noise from your photos, and I will use these three images you see on the screen as an example. And also, here is a before and after of what I'm going to teach you today. Here is the before with the noise, and the after without the noise. The reason why I'm making this video is because when I posted this Instagram story you see now on the screen, where I said, I like to underexpose these kind of photos to get the details of the sky. Some of you ask me that if you do the same and try to balance and raise up the exposure on the dark areas, you will end up with a lot of noise that will damage the image. Or just in general, for nighttime photography, where you have to raise up that ISO, you will definitely get some noise on your images. So how do you deal with it? How do you reduce it or get rid of it? Well, I have a solution for you and I'm going to teach you right now with just a few simple steps how to reduce noise on your photos using Lightroom. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to work with this image right here. And as you can see, I already made the edits that I like, which is the sky is more dramatic and I included the blue and orange tones that I like. But uh, as you can tell in the middle, the image looks a little bit damaged because of the grain. And even more if you zoom in by 300%, you can definitely notice the grain. We're going to try and reduce it as much as we can. I shot this image with an ISO of 1600. That's why you can definitely notice some grain. So we're going to open the detail section on the right side of your Lightroom. And we're going to be working with these two settings, which is luminance and detail under noise reduction. I'm going to zoom in by 300% so you can see um, how the image starts improving. And the very first step we're going to do is raise the luminance uh, setting until you can tell that the grain disappears. It's okay if you have a little, a little bit of grain. Um, so let's take a look. Let's do um, 90. Yeah, it definitely looks sharper, as you can tell uh, the details of the stick and the glasses. Um, and for the next value, which is the detail, the default value, which is 50, usually works pretty well. However, you wanna definitely bring this back to zero and start playing with it until you can notice the details of the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up until I can notice some of the grain, which is, that's the limit. Um, so let's see. Let's do a value, I think between 60 and 65 will be great. Um, now you can definitely tell it's much sharper. So I'm gonna do a quick before and after. Let's turn off the detail section. Here's the before. And here is the after. Boom. You can definitely notice a lot of difference. Now let's go to this image that I took at night, obviously in Chicago. And um, you can see the grain when I zoom in. And let me pull up the settings of this image. So the ISO was 16,000. And, uh, and I took this one as a test. Uh, just to see if I could get rid of the grain. Um, so let's apply the same settings as the previous image. Let's go to the details section and bring up the luminance to about, uh, let's see, let's do 70. And the detail already looks great with the default value, but let's bring it up a little more. Somewhere around 65. Perfect. You can definitely tell the difference right now. I will show you the before and after. If you double tap on noise reduction, double click, you will get the default settings. So this is the before and this is the after. Now let's go to this image from Laura, this portrait. Um, I shot this one at 5000 ISO and when I uh, was uh, doing this photo shoot, I didn't realize that my ISO was at 5000. Um, and at the time, I didn't know how to reduce the noise. But now that I know, I think it looks so much better. So uh, let's go ahead and apply the same settings as 
uh, the previous images so let's go ahead and raise the luminance here you want to be a little careful here because uh, because of the skin um, so I think a value of 65 should do yeah and then the detail let's see if we bring it down what happens and let's do um, yeah let's do 70 because then you can start seeing a little more of the pores um, so here's the before and after the before and the after perfect I usually like to keep the ISO as low as I can but if I ever need to raise it up I don't worry too much about it anymore and I hope you don't either because now you have a solution to reduce the noise so I hope this video was helpful to you if it was please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for my future videos bye bye